Hey guys, welcome back. It's the Mellow Man here, and uh, I'm back again for another week of uh, weight loss, healing, and performance. And I've got uh, a good friend now, a guy that's becoming a good friend. Uh, I started following Harry a couple of years ago, and uh, you know what I love about Harry, I'll tell you, is um, that uh, I don't know anybody else that does more like daily protocols. He stacks them on top of each other and he does them all. I, I think I do the most, but I think this guy may be beating me. And uh, he's my inspiration a lot of the time to keep going and keep going further forward. He's always pulling me forward and I love that about him. And that's why I follow him. Uh, Harry right now has just finished uh, one book. He just uh, wrote, he's an author, he just finished a, a book on urine therapy. What's the title of that book, Harry? Yeah, hi guys, uh, Aged Urine. It's actually, hey, let me just get it for a second, one second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just finished a book uh, on uh, aged urine. There we go. Aged urine, right? the century, yes, indeed. Mm. And he's writing an, a second book right now about sunlight. And I'm always talking about distilled water therapy. Uh, I, I talk about urine. I talk about sunlight. Um, I talk about fruit and fasting. Harry's doing all of these things. I talk about the enema. Harry does all of these things, grounding, sun gazing. Uh, he's, you know, a resident expert in all of these things. He's about to launch his, his second book about sunlight. So I really wanted to reach out to him today to talk a little bit about the sun gazing and how important it is to uh, include sunlight in our day, in our detoxification, in our health, in our wellness, in our weight loss, in our healing. Harry, uh, what, what, what's the importance yep. of the sun, buddy? Thank you, but just quickly, I beg you for introducing me. I wouldn't say I'm better than you in any things, to be honest with you, because John, you're, you're, you're my teacher in unfooding and discipline with fasting. But you're, in a way, you're right. I have got, I, we both do a lot of disciplines. We are extreme and i think you have to be in this society to learn what works and i'm discovering a lot about sunlight that i thought i didn't i didn't know i only started sunlight last year but like you said i am just doing a lot of things and discovering for myself and and correlating with the science we know of of sunlight and there's a lot of information on sunlight people know sunlight is good but i i'm one of these geeks i want to break down exactly what is going on with the specific suns at different times because it it, it, it works at different frequencies of light. The sun is never a static thing, right? It's got different medicine. Each sun, a sunrise, sunset sun, a midday sun, they all do different things for the human avatar. So I'm, I'm here to break it down. And that's why I'm writing the book. That's where I've done lots on my YouTube, um, my Facebook lives. I talk about sunlight and red light therapy a lot. And I'll continue to because it's, it's quite frankly, I, I'm 25 days into getting up every sunrise and sunset. Um, for an hour and, and sunset I do two hours but sunrise you only, only an hour an hour and a half and it's a life-changing protocol if you even if you don't do urine therapy if you don't do fasting you don't change your diet you don't exercise if you do one thing try this get out at sunrise smack on the hour 20 minutes half an hour sunset as well that's going to change your life it really will it's a powerful people underestimate the power of light and red light therapy from the sunrise and sunset or, oh, and it's, um, John, it's a game changer. My vibration has changed significantly from, from, it's not even food we're talking about here. We're talking about biophotonic energy, aren't we? We're talking about light, uh, nutrition. We're talking about nutrition from sunlight. You're eating the sun, Harry. Pretty much. That's how, that's a go. No, that's true. And I didn't understand that phrase last year, but now I understand we're literally getting nutrition from the sun. And like I said, the sun is never doing the same medicine. It starts you up in the morning to rise you up, to, 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 to take the stresses out of your body, to detox you, to give you that red light therapy. And then the midday sun, it changes to UVB, UVA, there's vitamin D, um, nitric oxide, UVA, cleans the skin. Um, they do very different things. It's not one static thing. That, that's my message I really want to get. It's that the sun has different modalities. It's doing different things. And we were designed, I'm sure, to, live, to be out eight to 10 hours every single day. As long as the sun's up in the sky, is what we're designed to do, you know? Interesting. 
So we're, we're seriously malnourished being inside all day long and looking at the sun very little. Completely. But there is biohacks. So I'm, I'm not at the level yet of doing 10 hours a day, but I'm doing biohacks. So, so my biohack advice to people, I'm trying to get the message across is sunrise, sunset. If you're going to prioritize sunlight, please don't miss sunrise and sunset. It's not just a beauty thing. It, it does look amazing, isn't it? When you look, when you sun gaze or you've got the sun out and you look at the sunset and the sunrise, it's beautiful. But it's more than just beauty. It's actual physical nutrition and health and mitochondria light up, muscle um, fatigue, not muscle energy. Um, it, it's, it's a miracle, the red light therapy. It's an absolute miracle from, from creator, I believe, to, to, to us that we're not tapping into because people don't, don't use sunrise sunset. They don't prioritize sunrise sunset but if they did it would change their health status like yeah I, I would say this i love fruit eating but i would say it's beyond the power of fruits beyond if you get up if you get up for sunrise sunset you'll experience something more magical than just fruit eating okay so so, so, let, so let, let me uh before we go even deeper into the sunlight therapy i want to touch on something that you've said there you know it's beyond fruit eating you know this you know that, that's heavy duty. Like most of the people that come in to see me are trying to lose weight. And so I, you know, they want to, they expect, or they, you know, accept that they've got to make some nutritional changes and they accept that they have to make some exercise changes. But often they're, you know, kind of not even considering that, they should be adding or changing the way that they act in other aspects of their life. And they may not be open to some of these other protocols and w of which you and I are probably captains of the world of doing multiple ones, right? So before we get even further into the sun, I just want to talk a little bit about the fact that you and I are stacking a lot of these different protocols together because we, I just want to touch on it because I think sometimes people may think that we are crazy or um, outrageous or, um, you know, we're, we're in the monkey business because we're doing this and we're doing that, we're doing this. It's, it's like to others, it may appear that there's no rhyme or reason to what we're doing. I've had conversations with people, you know, that maybe like in the Abraham Hicks page uh, or on the Tony Robbins page, uh, they've, they've sometimes reached out to me and they're saying like, what are you doing all that stuff for? I've had fruit and fasters come onto my page, you know, fruit and fasters, you'd think they'd be my friends and right. not that, not that they're not my friends. They are my friends, but they get on my page and they start bashing me for talking about some of these other practices that I engage in. And, and uh, I just want to, I just want to respond to that by saying that, you know what? Fruit and fasting is magical. Fasting is magical. Water fasting is magical. Dry fasting is magical. The enema is magical. Different types of enema are magical. Herbal formulas are magical. Sunlight is magical. Grounding is magical. Exercise is magical. Breath work is magical, right? Mm -hmm. Brushing your skin. Skin brushing is magical. There's lots of things, and everybody's an individual. And sometimes one thing may be very valuable to you at one point, and then all of a sudden, something else it becomes more valuable to you. Would you agree? Yes, um, you're right. To, 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 to say that, to, to focus on just one thing in health, as powerful as it is, because I think urine therapy, fruits, fasting are very powerful. But I think that what we're talking about, John, is alignment with nature. And what we're doing as stackers is we're not really biohacking and stacking. What we're doing is we're moving more in line with nature. So it's not just water. It's not just food. It's earth. It's sky. It's pure air. It's exercise it's um red lights from sun because the, the red light therapy the sun was designed as our healing modality so to say oh i'm doing fruits and fasting but i don't want to get up at sunrise is to deny what the medicine god put in the light or whatever you want to call it he put the medicine in the sunrise sunset to to for you and you're saying oh i don't want to do it because 
you know, I already do this, I already do that. It's not about that. It's about alignment with nature. And to be honest with you, me and people like me and you have figured out what works because we do so many different things. That's how we know what we know because we experiment with loads of different things called stacking. And each one of the stacks we do raise our vibration a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. And then we pass on the knowledge to other people. And then they realize, oh, okay, this guy, well, some people don't realize, but the good ones do realize that we do have good information. And, and it's, it's not our information. It's the information of the universe and nature. And we're just passing on the knowledge of nature to other people, right? Absolutely. And, and it's important, you know, people get stuck. Would you agree, Harry? People get stuck along the way all the time, right? And because, you know what, I believe the biggest reason why they get stuck is they don't recognize that in order to move forward with raw natural healing, because that's what we're doing, natural healing, uh, you've, you've got to move forward. You can't move forward with raw natural healing if you're standing still. Yeah, right? so true, brother. Where, wherever you are right now is creating whatever you have. And if you want something different, you're going to have to transition forward, right? So, you know, like these words, I am. Whatever I put after the words I am are extraordinarily important. If I say I am Christian, I am Catholic, I am Jew, I am Muslim, I am husband, I am brother, I am father, I am creator of my destiny, I am poor, I am broke, I am rich, I am wealthy. It's whatever I put after that is gonna hold me to that. So if I want to move forward and I am Christian, not to bash Christian, not to bash any choice that anyone makes, but if I wanna move forward in my life, I'm gonna to have to move forward with my I am. I can't stay stuck with the same old I am and get a different result. This is healing and it is physical exercise and nutrition and protocols. It is yep. um, mental thought and word and it is emotional releasing energetic blocks and it's spiritual evolution. This is forward evolution towards natural life. And if you're not moving forward in one of these ways, then you're not going to be moving forward. And that's why you're saying, I'm stuck. Well, I've been working out and I've been eating fruit and I'm not getting anywhere. Well, do something else. All right. <laughs> I agree completely. You know, when you were talking there, I thought the most important I am to me is I am becoming a better human being, whether I am getting healthy, I am getting more wealthy, I am getting more grateful, and then take a little action towards that. So I am improving is, to me, is like the ultimate I am. Progressing. You're not gonna, right? You're not going to become super healthy tomorrow because that's impossible. 10 years of disease isn't going to make you, and stress isn't going to make you tomorrow. Even if you did everything all right, you know, it's going to take time. So the best one to me is I am trying my best. I am taking a little bit of action. I'm, I'm going to eat one fruit today. I'm going to drink some urine. I'm going to go out in a sunrise for 10 minutes, five minutes, go back to bed afterwards, you know, be easy on yourself. People have got to be easy on themselves because Rome wasn't built in a day. My, who I am today, it's taken me a long time. I'm, I'm far from complete, but what I know today has taken two and a half years to, to build up. Uh, uh, the light has been for like a couple of months now of intense. I still don't know a lot. I'm, just, I'm always learning, but I'm happy also with what I, where I am. So I improve, but I'm happy. So I accept who I am, was constantly striving towards a better version of myself, happier, more disciplined, and um, yeah, more purposeful. So there you go, Harry, you just mentioned two and a half years. I've been at it two and a half years myself. How much time does it take, Harry? Uh, this is a good question. I think it's never ending, John. Me and you get a lot of satisfaction. I mean, to say that I'm complete and I'm disease free, this, uh, that's one thing. I mean, to say that your vibration has a limit is a very silly thing to do. There's no limit to how high and happy and healthy and how awesome you can be, how grateful, 
how much you can give to people. There is no limit. You know, it's, it's a journey that people like yourself and me are going to be on for the, the rest of our days. I see that it's in our personality. Change, evolution, growth, helping people's in our personality, becoming a better person, um, learning more, knowledge, unlearning is also in our personality. So willing to be wrong. So I might be wrong with some of the information I present, but I'm okay with that because I'm learning, right? And you touched on something there. You talked about vibration. You talked about happiness. You talked about gratitude. You talked about helping people. It's about raising up our vibration, isn't it? Yes. Right? Oh. The, the sunlight is, is a frequency, is a vibration. Sound is a vibration. Our voice puts a vibration over our body. Our thoughts are a vibration that we're putting out into the world and what is bringing back a vibration toward us. If we're putting out the wrong vibration, we're getting back the wrong vibration. If we're not getting the result that we want, then we've got to change the way that we're interacting and engaging with our life. That's our responsibility. That's we need to change our vibration. Yes. You know, as you're talking now, I was thinking of something that someone could do as an experiment that might sound crazy. If they did nothing else but stayed outside from sunrise to sunset, so that might be 10, 12 hours, didn't do any exercise, even ate their normal diet, did everything else, but they stayed out, no, nothing else, 12 hours with the sun, from sunrise to sunset, I think something magical is going to happen. I know it for a fact. It happened, it's happened to me, and I haven't even done 12 hours. But if you're doing from sunrise to midday sun to sunset outside, um, even if you're by yourself, and it, it, it will, wow, you do one stat, it's gonna, and I'm looking forward to doing that. Actually, I haven't done that yet, John. I'm looking forward to the experiment where I'm, t I'm out 12 hours in a day because that's going to do something crazy to my avatar. Well, what happens when we go on holidays and we're outside all day in the sun, feet in the sand, feet on the ground? What happens to us? How do we feel? Oh, that's, we, it. That's, that's it. That's it, isn't it? How's it's our important. energy? How's our energy when we're on holidays, feet in the sand, looking into the sun all day long, playing volleyball on the beach? What happens to our energy? Yep. Pure sand, pure air, grounding. You've got, um, oh, and you're with your friends, you're chilling. Oh, it's just magical, isn't it? Thought, word, mindset is all in the right place. What happens to us? Yep, exactly. You're not stuck in your debt. You're not stuck in the work mode, not working. You're on holiday, you're relaxing. So it's mindset. You're in the right vibe. You're also outside your comfort zone or outside the zone of what you normally do when you travel. So you're in, you're in a mindset to try new things. So that's also very useful. That's another great tip, by the way, if people want to break habits. Um, sometimes we get stuck in a rut where we are today. So where we're living, sometimes we're stuck in old routines. It can, can limit us. So what a trick you can do is to take a holiday, go and travel, and even if it's in your own country, just get out of your house, go to go to the hotel, book a hotel and try something different because that you, your, your, you know your mindset's wrong. So if you, you move outside to a different place, your mindset's more likely to change, which is, which is powerful, right? Or just get out in the sunlight all day long. Spend the or day out in the sun. Go for a yep. walk. You know, go for a yep. walk, right? Right, yep. and, 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 and that's it. Do you know what? Do you know do you know what I've been seeing, John? Like people uh, in my village, you know, got dogs. So the, the elderly, what they do is in the morning, the sunrise, they'll go out and take the dog. That's magic hour for medicine. So what they're doing is unconsciously, they're getting healthier, these elderly people. They're taking the dog out for a walk as an excuse, but they're, they're, it's not even the walking. They think it's the walking. It's the, you know, it's the sunrise it's, and the sunset. They'll do it as well. They'll, they'll, you know, these magic hours, people are getting out and experiencing the benefits. And I think it's unconscious. These elderly people don't know that it's the red light therapy from the sun and sunrise, sunset. It doesn't matter. It's still healing them. But that's why me and you come into it because we know sunrise, sunset is red light therapy. Red light machines do the same thing as sunrise, sunset. Now, I think that some, the red light machines are okay to buy, don't get me wrong, but they're a supplement. They should not replace sunrise, sunset. And I haven't bought one yet. I've got the money I can. I'd rather get out with nature and do the sunrise sunset because the sun isn't just red light therapy the sun is every therapy it's a cocktail of of magic medicine not just one color it's like all colors all colors of the rainbow right all frequencies of light coming down vibrations frequencies coming down into the body lifting up our vibration lifting up our frequency this is what we need to do we need to engage with our life at a higher vibration if we want to pull more happiness and joy, higher vibration energies and emotions into our life. And we got to bring up our energy, high vibration foods, yep. high vibration practices, protocols like sun gazing, like exercise, 
things that lift up the energy. Because what we're talking about, I'm telling people, is that, you know what? We get stuck in the ego mind. We get stuck in the subconscious programming. We get stuck in this stinking thinking with the same old ideas. We get stuck in this poor me. I'm fat. I'm not losing weight. I, I'm doing all of this. It doesn't work. It never works for me. My husband, my wife, my kids, they do this, they do that. I don't like my job or I don't like this, I don't like that. I'm always complaining and thinking about what's wrong and I'm never happy with where I'm at. But you know what? If I always maintain this type of mental space, then I'm creating low energy vibrations within me. And if this is what I'm doing daily, I'm gonna exist with the same pain, the same weight, the same relationship issues, the same financial issues, the same uh, problems with health and disease and sickness all throughout my body. I'm the one that's responsible for changing the way that I engage with my life. I'm the one that's responsible for lifting up my energy, my thought, my word, and my practices to make sure that I'm thinking about what's coming up in a better way. And I step into parts of my day where I go, oh, here I go again. And then I catch myself now because I'm unfooding. It makes me more aware. I catch myself. I go, oh, look at me. I'm feeling poorly about what I'm doing here right now. Hey, no wonder I'm unhappy. I'm the one that's choosing a poor feeling right now for interacting with my life in this way for some reason. What's happened to circumstances happened to me and I'm reacting poorly to it. I'm the one that's choosing to react to the circumstance rather than shifting into the power that's within me, the vibration that's within me, anchoring to that power. And that's where I choose to get my energy from, from within, rather than dictating my response from a reaction that's coming from the outside, what someone has said to me what someone has done to me, a circumstance that's happened in life that I cannot control, okay? Things are going to happen. We can't control them. We can only control the self. The true self, the being within, is an infinite high vibration energetic being that's chosen to come here and experience love and happiness and joy and freedom and abundance. That is the promise. That is what's within us. And as we unfood, as we get into the sunlight, as we get our feet on the ground, as we move into distilled waters, all of these things help us to realize who and what we really, truly are. Yeah, that's powerful, that speech there. You know, I love that. I love what you're saying. I resonate completely. It is ultimately up to us, but I would add that you are not alone on this journey. I mean, I was alone two and a half years ago, and then I decided to get involved with the community. And this is how we learn from other people, but we can use other people to support us too. We think we're alone, but we need to gather tribes. That's what me and you are doing. We're connecting with other people. You've met up with Lee recently. You know, I like to meet up with people too. We are not alone. There's, there's the Facebook world is very real. To make friends on Facebook is not a superficial thing. To ask people questions on Facebook, to learn, to look up to gurus or people that have got information you've not, to, to, to ask, to reach for support and say, to realize other people are going through the same process of you. Other people are trying to do the same improvements in diet. Other people are trying to do the exercise, dry fasting, sunlight. We are not alone, but you have to connect with other people, especially if you're in, a, in the wrong mindset and you're, you're, you're suffering on these protocols. You can connect with people. That's exactly what I've done. That's what I've been good at for the last two and a half years. And I'll carry on doing it. I love connecting with people, establishing relationships, helping people, but not just that. I learn from people. I look up to people like myself. I learn from people. I'm, I'm not just the guru guy. I'm, I'm the learner. I'm, I'm all stages. I'm a leader, a follower, a student, a master, a beginner, an expert. You know, that's how life is. Awesome. So, you know, let's go further here with this sun, sun therapy. I, I, I know you've talked about a few things. I want to talk about eating the sun. I mean, Hilton Hotima, one of my favorite authors, um, talks about uh, the body being able to manifest all vitamins and minerals from the light of the sun. Have you come across any of this now with your research? Are you sharing any of this knowledge? I know I've heard you sharing lots of things. Can you, can you comment here? 
I heard something recently that resonates with my heart because I always go with the magic. I heard that the sun can create all the minerals. The, the, first, the 17 first minerals of the periodic table can be transmuted from the sun into your system. This resonates with me because I actually remember when you had Christo on your show and he talked about nutrition from the sun. I'm a huge believer. I know this for a fact. Nutrition is a huge factor of the sunlight therapy. You've got the red lights, you've got the nutrition, you've got minerals going up in the sun. The sun detoxes you very quickly. It gives you energy. Sun gazing is uh, medicine. The eyes are the most important receptors of light. Your skin is too because of the nudism, but your eyes are the primary receptor, which is why, John, the, to, to the, one of the worst things you can do with your health is to wear sunglasses outside. Absolutely. It's cloudy, sunny, it's beyond, because your eyes are the most important. You're stopping that nutrition into the eyes. The, the, it, it, it drives me, it's, it's insane. And another one is sun creams, putting that on, some poison onto your skin. These two things, sun creams and sunglasses, will destroy your health and destroy the sun. It, it, the sun might just give you skin cancer, actually, if you do wear sunglasses and you do use sun creams, you know? So, you know, the, the, the skin cancer that we get is, is more likelihood that it's because we've been putting toxic elements into our body. And the skin, of course, is the biggest, the largest detoxifying organ in terms of size. So toxic elements are coming up through the skin. So they're coming up onto the skin. And then if you're cooking those toxic elements on your skin, then you're going to get, that's what's going to lead you to cancer. If you're burning your skin with toxic elements coming up through the skin and then loading a layer of uh, poisonous chemicals on top of your skin so the skin can't breathe and holding and trapping all of that toxic uh, element on your skin, that's how you get cancer. If we want to get rid of the, the possibility of cancer, don't sunburn. Hydrate yourself well with raw natural fruits. Uh, drink lots of distilled water, and if you put your own waters on your skin, your yeah. skin will be hydrated, and you won't have any trouble with the sun. Yeah, I think that I think urine topically amplifies the power of the sun. Actually, it makes it even more powerful. It gets more nutrition, more light, more energy into the system. It's just like sun and water, isn't it? Opposites, yin and yang. If you do both, topically urine or even distilled water topically maybe would work as well. I think. You did that with the sun, oh, you won't get sunburn, but beyond that, you're gonna get more medicine in. And the sun is medicine. I mean, I can't emphasize this point enough. Like like um, Christo, when he was on your show, said he did the, the fasting, and as soon as the sun stopped coming through the clouds, even though it does carry on, he found it a bit harder. Not as much be, light, not as much light. Yes. As the sun goes south yes, in the winter time. It does make a difference, but I'll be honest, I've been doing 24 days sunrise, sunset, and under cloud cover, most of them, and the medicine still gets through, so people should not be looking and saying, oh, I don't get chemtrails, oh, clouds, I can't get, any, get out in the sun. No, it still works. Well, there's that happen. mindset bit to it, right? So if you believe that the sun is, is out of range or it's behind cloud or you can't get it, then, then there's your lack and limited, limited belief that's blocking you. So you'd have to open yourself up to this new thought, this new reality that the sun can feed you nutrition through the cloud, that you can absorb it through the cloud, right? Yeah. Um, just a quick one to add on as well. When you're out in the sun, even under cloud cover, it's always making you deep breathe. So look at it this way. Being out in the sun is a deep breathing session. So if you do four hours in the sun, consider you've actually done four hours of deep breathing. If you did 20 minutes outside the sun, you've just done a 20 minute deep breathing session. I don't mean pranayama. I mean, it just makes you deep breathe. It automatically makes you deep breathe. Whatever mechanism, nitric oxide, I believe, but I might be wrong, but just know that and, and sun gazing is the ultimate deep breathing. Your breath will go even deeper with a sun gaze, you know? So go for a little walk jog in the yep. sunlight daily. Go, go for barefoot walk jog if you can. Uh, do some exercise outside, calisthenics, stretching out in the sunlight, breathing. And I heard you talking about, you know, obviously breath, so important, uh, prana, the energy, the chi, uh, moved around with breath. So we've got to breathe to bring that energy and that oxygen through the body. Uh, a disease can't grow in an oxygenated environment. From 1939, Nobel Peace Prize winner. Uh, I'm sorry, I forget the doctor's name, but, but we know this is factual information. There you go. That's right, right. And now I've heard you talking about lymph. Now, uh, Dr. Morris talks a lot about lymph. 
right? Lymphatic system, a big site mm. for, for cancer, for disease. Stagnant lymph, because we've been eating the wrong foods, is why we're getting sick, is why we've got immune issues. It's because of stagnant lymph. Most of the fluid inside of our body is lymph, according to Dr. Morris, right? Yeah. And the fruits are the healing uh, acids that help to bust up that plaque, that hardened lymph, and get it to move around, okay? What does the sunlight do for lymph, Harry? Okay, well, this is not um, official science, but rest assured, I've come to believe now that people say it's just exercise that moves lymph and fruits. They're, they're right to a point. There's something else that moves lymph. But science will catch up with, John, I rest assured. Sunlight, being out in the sun, even under cloud cover, it moves the lymph. It gets them, even without exercise. Now, I'm not saying don't exercise in the sun. I'm making a point. Sunlight by itself. People have done experiments, very few people. They've put lamps of infrared light under lymph, and the lymph cells literally moved. And so, therefore, they've made the conclusion that these infrared frequencies at sunrise, sunset, by the way, the sunrise, sunset, sun, around that time, it makes the lymph move. So, and I, beyond that, I think the midday sun, I think all suns, I think science is going to get there at some point. All suns, any point of day, even on the clouds, moves the limb. And then if you do both, like you said, exercise and walking and sunlight, wow, you're just doing a double power lymph move there. You know, she's two things in one. Stacking, you know? stacking, Harry. Now, I also saw on your page most recently, you're talking about um, um, not distilled water, but uh, structured, structured water, Harry. Yeah. Can, can, you, can you elaborate a little bit on structured water and where we find structured water, how we get structured water, the value of structured water? What is it? Right, okay. Structured water is Jared Pollock's fourth phase of water. Now, you're your urine is structured water your body is structured but here's the thing i've been discovering um and this this is kind of common science but i want to make it more common there's a particular frequency of light that structures your water even more and i mean intense john intense structured water and what it is is infrared far infrared lights which is a, a frequency that's invisible and it's a frequency beyond the red physics it's very long wavelength the short wavelengths of the uvb the long wavelengths of the infrared lights the infrared kicks in before your sunrise, about an hour before sunrise, and about an hour after sunset. Now, this particular frequency of light has the power to penetrate through glass windows, through your bed. So if you're in your house, you're, you're water, at this time, you're just alive, your water's going to get structured. But what I noticed is, if you go outside or open the window, the, the infrareds hit your body quicker and more powerfully. And I've been outside at these points, and my God, um, John, I don't know how to put this to you. My, my qualities of my urine have gone up massively from, from being out with this not far infrared. It's far infrared frequencies of light that I'm using. Not only that, um, I can feel that a huge factor in red light therapy and sunrise sunset, why it works, is because the, the, red, the far infrared is structuring not just your urine, it's structuring your, your blood. Your blood is being structured. Your, the water all the fluids, within, all the waters within the body. Oh, and, and everything is structured anyway, but what I'm saying is it tightens the structure to an extreme level. I'm talking about an extremely, extreme level of structuring, extreme levels. And I noticed the difference. And in fact, I've got with me now um, zero ppm structured water because we've just had sunset finish. And I, what I did is I, I, every day now I'm structuring and I'm drinking it. And it's not normal. It's not normal, John. It's not normal distilled water. When I drink it, it's like triple the power of triple the power, triple the power. It's, perfectly structured water which is only in my opinion the only the only one that does it is far infrared it's the one that structures and that's only sunrise sunset but the midday sun doesn't structure the water what it does is it maintains the structure so the midday sun won't structure the water but you need to be out this is why i'm banging on to people you need to get out a sunrise sunset because that is the ultimate way to structure not just your urine but your blood and your lymph and every single fluid of your body, which we are just fluid beings, right? Every single bit. Okay, so that's, so that's awesome. You know, uh, unfortunately, we understand most people won't, you know, go towards urine therapy. Uh, you know, even though, you know, when we were in our mummy's tummy, um, we, we urinated in mummy's tummy and the urine was in our skin and up our nose and in our eyes and in our ears and in our bum and in our mouth. And even though it was all around us and even though when we came out, our skin was like a baby's bottom, right? And we smelt like a baby and we were soft and how supple that makes our skin, even though all of that 
even though the 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 the, the urine is is um structured water like you said um most people are more open to distilled waters right so distilled water or uh fruits and vegetables the the raw juice or uh you know the, the juice from the fruits and the vegetables so catching that water that's structured water distilled water if we put it in the if we put it in the sunlight it becomes structured so it's more healing yes way more powerful i'll go beyond this john if you put a fruit that's already been picked and say you bought it in the supermarket and when you go out at sunrise sunset this is geek knowledge if you want to enhance your vessel go out and put your even your cooked food put out put your food that you're going to prepare with you at sunrise sunset let the sun hit your fruits let it hit your cooked food you're about to cook let it hit your distilled water bring your stuff bring your food items your drink items with you sunrise sunset 20 minutes half an hour that will change the quality of your food and drink and your vessel it's absolute medicine this sunrise sunset I'm raising doing the vibration of your foods raising the vibration of your foods even higher yep even even the cooked food had some rice today rice packet microwavable and you know so i'm not perfect in my diet and i put it outside i'm testing to how much it amplifies and the the sunrise sunset makes a massive difference even to foods that we shouldn't be eating which is crazy it's really structuring everything it's, it's transport and, and fruits too that you know you think oh it's been picked off so it's going to go bad and you know it's not going to work on the structure nope it structures everything the sunrise sunset sun See, it's just like a fruit out in nature is going to be structured because it's, it's got all frequencies of sun. It's got the, the red lights at the beginning and then the, the blue lights of midday sun. So we're just working in line with nature, right? This is the value of the fruits. This is the value of the vegetables. They are sunlight captured into a, a food that we can eat the sun. And this is it. We're yeah. talking about eating the sun. We're talking about getting the energy of the sun. And you touched on something there that I think we got to talk a little bit more about is that, you know what, no one's perfect with their food, Harry. No one's mm. perfect with their food. We're all, you yeah. know, you know, attached to food. We're all addicted to food. We're all emotional eaters. We're we, yep. we all trying our best to manage and control our food. We're, if we want to be leaner, stronger, more healthy, it's about eating less. That's what unfooding is all about. It's learning how to eat less, but then not only like learning how to eat less, but being happy with yep. less. This is the thing. And if we want to be happy with less, we've got to get our energy from some other sources. So this is the prana. This is the light of the sun. This is the chi. This is the exercise. This is the urine therapy. This is the distilled water. This is why we're eating high vibration fruits and vegetables. We're trying to get more energy from less because that's yes. what has to happen it's learning to live on less and be happy long term right no one's perfect with their food unfooding we're all going to make mistakes we're all going to fall back off dry fasting awesome uh water yeah. fasting awesome distilled water fasting awesome fruit and fasting awesome liquid fruit uh liquids uh uh fruits and juice vegetables fast. juice fasting juice fasting Awesome. All of these things, all kinds of fasting is what the body needs to heal. It's just another one of the protocols, just another one of them. But there are so many. Don't just do the fruit and the exercise. Start incorporating other things if you're stuck. The enema is a huge one. We're all congested and constipated. We've got to include the enema. It's a taboo thing nobody wants to talk about it nobody wants to get involved all of us have fungus and parasites and yeast and candida inside of our bodies turpentine kills that it's a natural medicine we can use these natural things to heal our bodies we don't need to go to the doctors guys we don't need to get yeah. sick anymore i don't get sick anymore harry do you get sick uh i can't remember the last time i was sick and i'm 31 years old i'm i don't know i can't remember bro i can't remember <laughs> crazy once you detoxify your body to a point once you once you start ingesting your your urine i mean that has the antibodies that really sets up your immune system your lymph nodes uh to be able to give the the proper bacteria back into your body to put the proper bacteria back into your digestive system everyone's paying all this money to buy those what are those those bacteria that you put inside of your belly there um Fecal transplants? You talk about fecal transplants? No, no, no. People always buy those um, those uh, bacteria um, pro, uh, probiotics. 
Probiotics, yes. Okay, Everyone's yeah, spending yeah. a fortune on probiotics to try to reset their digestive bacteria. You know where you're going to get all your bacteria for your digestive? Well, I've got a probiotic right here. I've got a probiotic, and it, it looks golden colored, and it comes out of me. That's a good probiotic right there. There's your probiotic right there for free. All of your vitamins and minerals right there for free. All of your pro hormones and everything right there for free. Hey, you don't have to tell anybody. You can be quiet about it. Me and Harry will make all the noise about it. You keep it on the download. Just, just take a drink of that and everything in your life is going to start to change. Right. No, it's so true. That it's, it's, a, it's a mindset thing. You've got to get out of the mindset. Mindset. Because the, 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 you are your own doctor. That's the ultimate mindset you want. You are your own healer. Your body is all powerful. The medicine is free. You don't need to see a doctor. You don't need to look up to doctors. They don't have your best interests at heart. They, they ultimately are trained not in nutrition and health. All these kind of things. So it starts with mindset and then little action, baby steps, and enjoy your process. Because you are not me, and I might be at a higher level or a lower level, but don't compare yourself to me. Compare yourself to who you were yesterday and who you were last year. That's the way to be happy. Make the very best self, right? And we're not trying to bash doctors. We're not trying to bash anybody. We're just saying that the doctors have been trained to do certain things, and they do certain things for uh, their job. That's their career, to tote the information of the, the pharmaceutical companies who they basically sell their products, and that's what they know, and that's what they learned, and that's what they were taught, and all well and good. But listen, there is a natural way to lose the weight. There's a natural way to heal your relationship and step into your abundance and get over your disease. It can be done naturally. You don't need to go to your doctor in order to do it. You just need to recognize, read a few books, get into a different community of natural healers, make some new friends, check it out. You can heal your body. You can heal your life. You can lose the weight. At each stage of life, there's lies in place. There's lies like, don't look at the sun. Your urine is a waste product. Fruits are bad for you. Protein is necessary. You need to eat animals. Um, sunlight, don't get sunlight on your skin because it causes cancer. In each, each product, each, there's, a, in, there's lies everywhere. So you've got to unlearn, like you said, and then hang out with people like us. Go on Facebook, make friends, meet people in real life. And start the change and start the process because I tell you what it's the most exciting journey and I'm the most I feel like I'm sure you're the same John the most blessed individual who I am today is so blessed and so lucky I'm not healed fully I've got emotional work to do we all do I'm not perfect I'm not, I don't eat all the time the right foods but I, I'm enjoying where I am right now and the learning process and and helping people it's such a joy right Awesome. Harry Matadine, buddy. It's been a pleasure, as always is, when I get into your space, buddy. I always love it. I always love connecting with you. Uh, Harry, Harry's in the UK. I'm in Canada. He's getting late at night right now. I'd like to let him go to bed so he can catch that sunlight first thing in the morning. Thanks so much for your time, buddy. And we'll do this again real soon when that new book launches. Yes. I want to make sure that we pull you back on to promote that a little bit more. And, and you'll, if you want to get some information about urine therapy, if you want to understand it more deeply, reach out to Harry Matadine. He's got a book for you. Oh, yeah. My name's Harry Matadine, Harry Matadine on Facebook, I'll be YouTube Holistic Health of Harry. And thank you, John, for having me. It's been an absolute pleasure. And we'll talk again for the, the release of the Sunlight book. So All right. Very All right, brother. Talk to you soon. Cheers, man.